So for this painting, I thought I would focus on how I do the details on my oils. I have all the main colors laid in for the oils with my palette knife. And now I'm going through and putting in the blush that I like to do. And then I'm taking a brush and bringing the oils up next to the acrylic details that I had done ahead of time. I did the eyes and the, the paws the little fingers of this badger so I'm bringing the paint right up next to where I had painted with acrylic so that those two paint mediums can blend in with each other and then I start doing um, the hair coming off the edges I like to have a layer of acrylic hair and then I do a layer of oil hair just to help them look fluffier And then I switch brushes and do the white, bringing that up to the acrylic details and doing the white hair sticking out. And after that, I s switch over to using my small palette knife. And I usually like to work with my whites first so they don't get as muddy. I can be very purposeful with them. But you also have to think about how the fur is going to layer. So I did the head first, the white of the head first. And do the edges and then I move to the inside. And if you want to keep your bright colors bright and not dirty, you have to clean your, br your um, palette knife often while you're blending them in, while you're doing that texture. And then I switch to the black of the head. Lots of little strokes to make it like the fur I used black for the shadows I had a dark gray for the main body color and then of course the white for the height the light areas and then I decided to go down to do where everything else would overlap. So I'm, I'm thinking about how the fur overlap and what areas need to be done first for that. Go through and do my whites, cleaning my palette knife often. I just love the texture that comes with palette knife oils. That fur is so cool. So I'm doing it under, I'm doing the neck area so that I can finish the head up as the head overlaps the neck area and then I had done I did the stomach first and then did the arm because it overlaps the stomach I painted this painting on a Hobby Lobby printed canvas and I really like the swirls and the shine somehow when I was looking at it it seemed queenly and I don't know why but I thought of doing a skunk Maybe 